Eric Mwad with Mwad.com. Let's take a look at the chart for Juno. We can see here the stock has had a tremendous run. Huge run up. Now, what's interesting is I started paying attention somewhere here. And that was because at the time we had seen that it was trying to break out. So this time period here. which corresponds with that monthly breakout attempt. And at the same time, we saw that the MACDs were also moving to fresh high. So we got price breakout. See whether I can squeeze that in there. All right, let's try this again. You got price trying to break out here. So somewhere there, we have our RSI trading at three year highs at that time and the MACDs were trading at three-year highs. So all the minimum requirements were checked. So somewhere here in October, November, in fact, here I, you can see here a summary of where I was discussing this with my paid mother.com subscribers. So we mentioned this from September, a couple of times, four times, September here, breakout alert, here in October, in November, and again towards late November. So those were the times that we mentioned the stock as a breakout candidate. But the moral of this story here is not that the stock did well. It's actually the path it took. So yes, all these uh, levels where I discussed the stock as a breakout candidate, all these levels here. But unfortunately, I have to say, it's not like it was a successful trade. And the reason is, you can see here, we have a huge drop from here. So from here, let's call that in the, let's call it about 64 to about, let's call it 43. That's a huge drop. And so even though, yes, eventually it does go from, you know, it recovers and now it's trading in the 80s, even though it looks like it's a good gain. Unless you somehow held on, this was a very frustrating trade. In fact, if you take a look at this from a weekly standpoint, now you can see that the breakout we were playing here, ultimately you had this huge reversal. And so yes, even when you are right in terms of the setup, does not necessarily mean that the market is going to take a straight path to success. So frustration is part of trading. We just have to accept that for what it is. And the idea here for this video was just to remind you that yes, even when you get it right, sometimes the market is not gonna pay you. <laughs> That's just how it is. So yes, we got it right. Stock's done well, but unfortunately the path it took to success was very confusing. Ultimately, yes, it does see the big move, but net net, this big down month would have flushed anybody out of that trade. So yes, you might get it right, but the market might take a path that might either get you stopped out or get you to actually give up on the trade before it explodes. And just one more other observation here is some of these big moves in the stock have come with price gap ups. So really there was no way of playing some of these moves because of the huge gap ups. And you can see on the daily here, same thing. You have a huge gap up here and another gap here. So I wouldn't say that was a successful trade, even though our initial interest was here. Eric Moore with Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S.